everybody, and welcome to the Killer7 streamcast. My name is James, at Allegion on the forums, and today my co-host is... Grant Dempsey, also known as Grant Dempsey. And uh, we're a little shorter on commentators this time through, but we might be joined by some surprise guests midway through, we don't know. And uh, But yeah, we're going to go through with this anyway, and uh, we're ready to go. I think what well, last time ended on... Uh, very sad note with uh, everybody. <laughs> or, or a really amusing note, uh, <laughs> man, as I recall. There was amusement. There was there was there were tears. There were laughters. The laughter was uh, menacing and questionable. But no, I I just remember when you were really worried that you were going to beat Ayame with Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, because it's just not right. It's not right. Yeah. Turn down the volume on the audio so that. Okay. Yeah, and this time through, whoop, can't play with a. Uh, what you know, I can play with a GameCube controller and not a Wii controller. It's really just that last phase of hers that makes her so difficult, isn't it? Yeah, it sort of combines. Uh, it combines the fact that you are at the tail end of. I mean, depending upon skill level and just performance that day, uh, it, it combines uh, the difficulty of the overall fight with, at the very end, the same kind of thing that you had against Julie Kasugi, which is just a basic straight-up shootout. Yeah. Except that Ayani doesn't really need to reload, so she just like, there's like this stream of, uh, of bullets coming at you. Yeah, no, and you can just watch your health meter just shut down completely within seconds. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I also, it's also weird, it's like with Mask, there is, I don't know, Mask doesn't have the same kind of visual feedback that I get from the other characters in terms of, like, when I've done damage. So, it's like, I would pull him out at that point, but I don't know if, like, firing his bullets at her are even effective at that point. I know, like, for, for the first fight, she catches on fire and and stuns, but, you know, it's hard yeah. to tell. Well, and, and this time... We know that masks help our lies. So. <laughs> yes, and uh, well, wait a minute. What? No, this is wrong memory card. Is, uh, probably wrong file. This is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> I wonder, I think when you, yeah, when you, it's really cool. I, I think this is kind of a neat, neat sub-function of the technology is that if you have the GameCube emulator going, uh, whether it's like your GameCube hardware pared down or what, I don't know, but uh, when you have that going and you hit the reset button on the Wii, then it uh, resets the GameCube instead of the whole Wii. Oh, okay, so you've been playing this on a Wii then? Yes, that's right. Okay. New game. <laughs> don't That's judge. ambitious. Wait. I don't understand if this isn't... It says encounter, but what? Did I choose the wrong memory card? I, huh. Why, what's what's, wrong, what's well, wrong with that one? Okay, there we go. I must have loaded up the wrong memory card because, like, the the silhouette to kill in Red Blood was the, uh, was the two, uh, uh, Akiba and... Uh, yeah, no, I'm, yeah. Dollar General. It looked, like, it looked like you had the wrong file last time. Yeah. But this time it was, it was fine. Hot, intense uh, file loading action. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so who is alive now? Well, Khan. We know <laughs> that, and let's re- I, I think you'd be lucky if anyone else died. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Mask. All right. I think that that was the problem last time, yeah. because I uh, my my hand kept cramping up. Yeah. So, all right, here we go. Yeah, that that was that was when we just couldn't take it. Yep. I'm uh well now I'm caffeinated. I have uh, <laughs> medically high blood pressure. I think we're good to go. No, my blood pressure is fine. In case anybody is out there is. Boring. Oh no! What have I done? <laughs> what? Where was he? Why? Oh no! I think you already had his head. 
think. Oh my god, I'm a fool. <laughs> I mean, you must have, because it would have been there, otherwise. But, but this is good, this is a good omen. Yeah, this, uh, this is a <laughs> sign of great things to come. Oh dear god. Well... See, no, I think the, I think it's it's really it's great because we're like ending this almost on exactly the same note. That we're beginning this on exactly the same note that last stream ended on. Yeah. Well, no, except except this time you're gonna win with Garcia. Oh. That sound is the only thing I can make in response. Well, you know <laughs> what? This is great. No, people are gonna get to see the actual game over screen, which is. Uh, well, I think they saw it enough times last time. No, I mean the actual game over screen, where Garcia. Oh, dies. oh, the, yeah, because Garcia. Okay. It didn't occur to me. Uh, spoilers. That was actually when I played this through the first time. That that was actually what uh, tipped me off as to kind of like what was going on. That every single one of the Killer Seven you could rescue, but not Garcia. What the? Was it my cross? That's, I mean, that's also kind of Garcian's function anyway. I mean, he's the one who rescues, so. That's true. I guess within that context. I mean, it's sort of a logistical sense that that adds up without sort of leading beyond itself to you know the twist. Grim Sweeper suggests that perhaps a moment ago I was shooting the hair, and I'm fairly sure the scalp and hence the brain is underneath the hair. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, what do I know about anatomy, right? I'm putting heads in plastic bags. I'm not uh, I'm not grooming them. <laughs> Actually, the steadiness of Garcian's aim is making this pretty, uh, pretty okay. Fight. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm surprised about this. You're this this seems to be. Going more easily than the previous attempt, but isn't Garcian's gun significantly? It's the weakest, I think. Powerful, yeah. Which I think is kind of what makes that final transformation at the end possible. Um, with yeah. The, the golden gun, or not possible, but that's what makes it remarkable is that like he went from like the. Uh, I forget that the Johnny Gagnon character does describe his does describe the make of his gun. But I don't remember what it is. I remember the golden gun is uh what what's happening? <coughs> the golden gun is just, you know, yet another James Bond reference. Yeah. She's being a lot easier to deal with this time through, and I'm actually kind of curious to know if they calibrate the difficulty based off the <laughs> I was gonna say the game's just leveling itself down for you at this point. <laughs> She's only shot at you, what, like three times? Well, she's she's done the, the minor chip damage, which... Yeah. Is... And, uh, but, and she's done, like, a few of the major heavy hittings. Basically, I mean, it looks like the trick here is to make sure that you... Keep her stunned. Yeah, and... exactly. But, and Garcian seems unusually capable of doing that. Yeah. I, don't, I guess it's just his accuracy. Yeah, once the, once the gun fires, it stays still. Actually, which suggests that Kevin might be a really good choice for this, actually. Yeah. But Dan was supposed to win. <laughs> well, in a sense, Dan is winning. Well, it's okay, Dan can win against Curtis. So... At least he'll have that. Yeah. Yeah, she has not done that sprinting thing once. No, I mean, but that also might be because your shots are weak enough that it's taking this long to get through the first phase. <laughs> You might be right. Because <laughs> this this still seems to be her first phase behavior to me. Yeah, I can and see that. And that's, that's despite your getting hurt. 
you know, 500 times at this point. So. But Garcian's doing his best. Yeah, no, he's a, he's a, he's a scout. He's a trooper. Yeah. So uh, is there is there anything that you can think of to say about Ayame that you didn't say last week? Since you know we're still it we're is. still in her subject area, uh, I guess. Like, are we are we supposed to understand the International Ethics Committee as something, or is that part of her? Uh, it's, well, it's it's, it wasn't wasn't that the same organization that uh, what's his name? Uh, John Paul. Yeah. Uh, the international, yeah, the international, what, hold on. the international ethics committee was uh, is, a group. Am I remembering wrong, or doesn't isn't that what Ayame says? No, she she says the Ministry of Education. Oh, oh, right. Okay, never mind then. Which is <laughs> equally perplexing, though, because yeah. it's like, what? Why does she have? Why does she have that role? And like. Basically, like, the question that comes to mind is, like, is she delusional? Is this, like, uh, a position of power she's given herself to compensate? Oh, there we go. Uh, that we've, uh, that she's given herself to compensate for, like, the powerlessness that she obviously felt by, had by being kidnapped? Or yeah. is it, like, I mean, obviously Curtis, even though he is described as a punk, does have, uh, he has some sort of political or uh, governmental role, so is that something that he secured for her, and to what end? Yeah. Well, and, it, and just generally it lends itself to the kind of Sailor Moon aesthetic of hers. Oh, oh god, please don't tell me now we're in the second phase. <laughs> that would that would just be horrible, wouldn't Eight it? Eight million years later, yeah. <laughs> If it took this long to get there, just imagine how long it'll take to get there. <laughs> it'll probably take about one second to get through it, because then I'll be mowed down by that point. Yeah. I remember, who was it? I think DJ was saying, uh, in another context entirely, that his first time through this fight, he accidentally wandered in here as Garcian, and paused the game, came back to it, and when he came back to it... Oh, this isn't going to be good. Uh... When he came back to it, uh, he unpaused and thought that the game had forced him to use Garcian for this, and thought that that was like part of the extra challenge of this uh, boss <laughs> fight that like you had to do it entirely with Garcian. And then he went back and found that you could like choose another one of the Smiths. That's, that's so tragic. I think you had to do it. In a way, though, it is, that almost seems characteristic of, of the, the sort of tragedy of Amir's life in general. <laughs> oh yeah. Really sucks. I mean, just like at the end, like he gets. I mean, even though he has obviously taken some, uh, he, he's he's taken some active role in the unraveling of the syndicate. Uh, whoop! There you are. Uh, no, no, no. He's taken some role in the unraveling of the syndicate, but uh, at the same time, he's basically left with the guilt of the uh, of having to face the fact that you know he was involved with these like six different types of weapons. Yeah. What makes this doubly hard is that Garcian cannot heal. I don't think. Can he? Well, I, you, even if he could, you don't have... Right, uh, I don't have any blood and I can Yeah. I also can't collect any during this fight. No. I really wish somebody would have had the foresight to localize the pun. Well, I guess it's time to shut her down. But I don't think that... 
Has, has she done her sweep yet? Nope. Is she is she still not in her second phase? I don't, and that's the thing. I, I know that certain other fights, like the, her max amount of health. No, 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 no. It's um, Julia Kasugi. Like her fight and the kind of damage that she does actually uh, scales to the attack pattern of the Smith that you use. I remember somebody bringing that up in uh, one of the other streams, and. But so, not enough that mask is a good choice anyway. Uh, I wouldn't think so. I mean, apparently some people have done it. So. Oh really? Oh, oh, because the because his shells they count as multiple hits, right? Right. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I think probably because so, he, she sets he sets her on fire and. Yeah, and then the fire damage probably counts as a shot each time it registers. Yeah. Mask is the dude in your MM in your in your online shooting MMO game who always uses the flamethrower. <laughs> it's just collateral damage all around. Not to go too far off subject, but do you remember the, the flamethrower being an optional item pickup in Metal Gear Online, the first one? Yeah. I loved it. I did too, especially since like Well, I mean, you know. I it was it was kind of a favorite for high comedy when uh you just got in the middle of a group, turned it on, and spun around, which is like a, yeah, yeah. As a six, it's, it's the most obnoxious thing thing to do in, in that. Because exactly like with Ayane here, it's uh, it's essentially uh, not Ayane with uh, Julia Kasugi. It, uh, uh, it it's multiple hit and stun. Yeah. Which I don't know if flame. I don't play enough shooting MMOs to know uh, if that's how flamethrowers work generally with like the stun, but. Uh, I know that it worked in that. It seems in, like the way they would work, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, I know it I would makes, probably makes sense to me. if I were yeah. on fire, I would do what uh, Dick Van Dyke told me as a child, and I am maybe that old, is to stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> well, yeah, but if you, if you were a grunt in a multiplayer online game, then you would just stand there and let it happen. Stop, drop, and roll is, yeah. I imagine, what would happen. Uh, yeah. Oh, where, oh, hello. Stop, drop, and get tea bag or something. <laughs> no, now, now she's starting in on her second phase. That was that was a. Sort oh. Of, oh my God, are you serious? Well, wasn't wasn't that one of her second phase attacks right there for the, the first time? The spray. That kind of. The, yeah. I think she sprays uh, otherwise. Oh, does she? I guess we'll find out, because I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to win with Darcy, and even if I get her, like, in the center. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think there was ever any danger of that. <laughs> no, you're right. Uh, we, we plan for the contingencies that we make ourselves. <laughs> Maybe that's not the best managerial philosophy. You, you always have this strange idea of winning against Diana. It's it's your source of anxiety. No, it's it's true. It's a coping mechanism that I have. Uh, sneaking about in co in the uh, chat notes that he would equip a cardboard box. Frankly, I would too. At this point, I think that uh, in the darkness with that mask on, clearly there's got to be some sort of leeway that I could probably just sneak in here and she would, you know, peek out and go, huh, just a box. Have you seen the size of her eyes? You can see through the darkness. Ah, uh, I mean. Maybe that, that mask, the eyes are about as half as big as the face. Oh no, you're right. Here she is. She's in her second. Phase. You know what? Oh, there she goes. I don't think. I think that Garcia can't live with himself anymore. <laughs> you, re you realize it's been 25 minutes. <laughs> are you serious? I think so. Oh my god. No, you are exactly right. Here, let's yeah. uh, let's let's maintain some hope of making progress here and. I mean, maybe, maybe 20 minutes, because I think you actually entered the room, you know, five minutes after after we started. But actually, 20 minutes. Garcian is taking a surprisingly large number of hits. I don't know. I mean, am I the only person who does this in a video game? Like, if I'm, if I'm having a lot of trouble with a boss fight, um, I will purposely stand still and... Uh, I will purposely stand still and see how long it takes for me to get mowed down so I have an idea as to exactly how long I can expect uh, the actual uh, fight to take, you know, when I'm actually trying. <laughs> you mean trying more than... 
Oh, here we go. Controller down. Yeah. That that takes a kind oh, of was, that that wasn't too long, actually. It's longer than Oh no, right. Oh, here we go. This is special music that not a lot of people hear. I'm gonna mute my mic for a second so I can Oh, did it pass already? Oh no, it's going now. Oh. Ah, oh, right, yeah. I also think that uh, it's like, it's weird, like, I think the selection sounds of between the words, I think this is one of the few few parts of the game where you actually hear this sort of muffled, softer sound. It's uh, it's kind of a minutia, but it's uh, something I notice. Mm. It's a much more... Well, it's, it's, it's sad. It's a somber occasion. It is. It knows that you thought that you should play the game as Garcian, and it regrets that it has taught you <laughs> so badly. All right, let's see. There are very few occasions in the game on which you can... I mean, on which it's easy to die with Garcian. <coughs> Unless you're playing... A I mean, if you're, if you're kind of stopping in each Harmon room along each of Harmon's rooms along the way... Unless, I mean, there are some instances of, like, Killer 8 where... I mean, it's like mm. Garcian's, you know, Garcian's benefit is that he can see them from a far enough distance, and therefore, you know, he can... He can he basically has as much time as possible to, to put as many slugs in them. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. But in Killer 8, it's probably difficult for him, right? All right, I need to put, oh, I need to put here we go. yeah, I need to put it on the floor for this. Hold on a sec. Oh my god! <laughs> that that is really rough. <laughs> it is. I'm, this is the basic thing you have to do to get the character back. Well, and, and I remember seeing on uh, on Grasshopper's website, and I, I really, really wish I had saved this image because it was great, um, but this was back when I was using a computer that had, uh, I think, Windows Millennium Edition, SSOS. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, like, um, there was a picture of Garcian sitting in front of a television screen with, like, you know, screaming at it with his mouth open and, you know, the stress lines coming out from the back of his head, <laughs> and he was like hitting the button on the controller really, really hard. I think he was cursing Mask specifically, so they knew. They knew. <laughs> All right, do it again. They just didn't care. Oh no. Oh. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Spoiler alert. Eat it, death! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We, we in the stream see it five seconds after you exclaim victory. Oh, man. Now, the way that... Uh, I forgot that there are several little tricks. Uh, I've heard people, like, say, like, use, like... Just ridiculous things like use a greased spoon or something. I, d I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, yeah, I've always heard the greased spoon thing for the torture sequence in uh, Metal Gear Solid. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and I've, 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 I don't know. I've, I've tried the spoon thing and it does not work. No, it just gets my controller greasy, which is yeah. Like, like, and yeah, greased spoon. Uh, Grim Sweeper <laughs> asks a greased spoon question mark, and it's true. It's like I don't. I don't even know, but. Um, no, it's on like, the bright side, it sounds like the name of a member of Foxhound. <laughs> it does. It, actually, they, they are so used to esoteric abilities, it is actually literally just a spoon that sits in a room all day long. They think, it's, they think it has sentience. It's, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but no, yeah, so it's like, oh gosh. I'll just set them on fire. Piece of cake. I'll just set them on fire. Piece of cake. Man, Mask has got, he's pretty ripped, more so than I thought. Um, yeah. but, uh, uh, he has terrible posture, though. He does. He does. It's a it's a serious problem with the curvature. Um, and even then, he's still gigantic. But uh, 
Hold on, just one moment. Put them back in your room. Sorry, domestic coordination. Um, <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, no. What I do is, and I forgot this. There's like there are two parts of the way that I do it. I I, I can I can sort of like tense the muscles in my forearm enough so that it sort of makes my hand rattle, and I use the back of my fingernail for that. And what I found is often there's like this slight distance. It is probably literally a millimeter difference. Um, that like because of like the shaking of uh, the 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 micro shaking of my hand, it's like I don't go all the way down to the point where the I mean it's like I'm touching the button, but like touching the plastic surface of the button does not equal I'm not registering it. And yeah. The press. So yeah. what so what I do then is like once I got that going and I've got like that sort of like intuitive uh, length, I kind of set my elbow in my abdomen. And so I can't move my hand back. And then I pull the controller into the shaking of my hand. So it's like it makes sure to register as many of those slight hits as possible. And mm. that's what I did there. And it's probably one of the more genuinely self-destructive aspects of playing this game. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I've always just, for resurrecting the characters in this and torture sequences and Metal Gear Solid, I've always just done, you know, straightforward thumb action. Right, and it's it's been extraordinarily painful at but times. I really think that the worst uh, has got to be, pardon me, um, I think <coughs> the worst has got to be uh, European Extreme on uh, yes, yeah, on MGS2. It's just it, it's monstrous, and the only way, actually, honestly, the only way I was ever able to do that was by let's see, is this the right? Yep, there we go. Actually, now that it's now that it, I think about it, it's actually pretty considerate of them to put those giant smiles out there, because you get yeah. like six things of blood each time. Well, no, actually, it's still going up. Yeah. Holy cow! Actually, can can you just go back into Harmon's room and come back out, and then there are they? Do they respawn that quickly? That's what I want to see. I'm gonna um, and sneaking about notes in chat that. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, you you have nine. Yeah. Uh, They've heard about using a plastic ruler, fun. but I, I actually have not used that trick in the past. But uh, but yeah, so uh, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna heal up first, so that you know there will be enough room to uh, enough room to fill up. But yeah, I went from nothing to like full. Yeah. Which is exactly how I want to prepare, prepare for that fight. Also, now I'm remembering that what was one of the things that was frustrating is like the eye will go mostly closed right when you have half of your life left. Yeah. And yeah, so that that was that was the tragic discovery last time. Yes. With with mass. That he he still had exactly half of his health left even though the and, eyes eye was at its lowest point. Right. And then I got to that last uh, and obviously I died like near the end of the Ioni fight is uh, um, it's like he just kept getting stunned over and over again. Oh, no, they do not respawn that quickly. No. Oh. However, I have a plan. Because I, I, I want to do this once and for all, and this, this one, Khan is going to, he's going to take one for the team here. Mm hmm <laughs> I, I like that image. <laughs> it's con, it's con stretching idly. I never Back noticed. Before. What, what was it called? What what's it called last week from the shoot 'em up games? Oh, curtain fire. Curtain fire. Uh, oh, right. From like a right? from bullet hell yeah. shooters. I I never heard that term before, but I'm also not. Uh, I don't play bullet shooters that much. Yeah. I mean, I, obviously the shooters that I play involve bullets, but. <laughs> Take what you want from that. Maybe some involved lasers. This is actually, uh, actually, it's kind of uh, coincidental that I'm doing this because when I actually played through the game for the first time, and also during Killer Eight, uh, and I needed to get uh, get blood, is like 
and I needed to reset certain positions, is I would sacrifice Khan every time because he was the easiest to resurrect and uh, he was and the, the quickest to die. Exactly. Yeah. He's extraordinarily long amount of time to, to go though. But uh, <laughs> Ayame is just sort of chilling out, running back and forth. Do what you're getting paid for. <laughs> yeah, uh, Shrug notes, shooter where all projector, all projectiles are pre-gun powder. I think that's called pitching bullets at your enemies. I mean, <laughs> it's. I, I know that uh, what for in the army days, they uh, told us not to do that, but I don't even know what that means. <laughs> That, that was definitely the shape of combat in the ancient world, <laughs> throwing bullets at each other. It was really, it was really a, a relief when we finally invented guns, because now all these bullets finally made sense. Yeah. It's like, I don't, I don't know, what, what is the back part? What is the, it's a pointy, and I kind of get that pointy can be dangerous, but then when we invented the gun, we realized this, this is what they're after. Uh, here. Don't make me like is that is that blood in the shape of his head? Uh, the blood what? is it's it's a kanji it, it's it's a kanji oh. symbol that's um, I think it mean I think it just means death I'm not sure it's not one that I'm because it, it it actually looked strangely enough like <clears throat> like his like a larger outline of his head that was that was there but. Hmm. All right. Now this one here, this ain't nothing. <laughs> this is kind of like I really wish I could like resurrect Mask in parts. Like if I can resurrect his lower body and then kind of take a break, then resurrect the rest of him. I, that would be a good way to do it. Well, it's really just the mask itself that has all the health. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. He's nothing. He's nothing without it. Okay. Right, are you gonna try to uh, get? More <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm definitely going to fill up on blood before I um before I actually try this fight in earnest. But if they if these things have not respawned and it's a failed experiment, then uh, you know, then we'll just run around. <laughs> Yep, they ain't nothing. Oh well. <laughs> Is that the strategy for Ayami too? To 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 reset? <laughs> <laughs> no, to to run around aimlessly. Oh. Um, it occurs to me that I mean, it's weird. It's like my strategy in that is to stun her as as often as possible, uh, using uh, stationary gunfire and. It seems to me. Is there anybody in here? Oh. I find it very strange that Curtis has like twin beds here. Actually, they're they're twin queen size beds, which strikes me as exceptionally optimistic for a man of his. <laughs> well, this isn't the only bedroom, is it? Isn't there another one? I don't remember. I thought there was, but I mean, it could just be because I was. I'm a week away from it now. And I'm conflating. There we go. Um, no, I don't honestly don't remember. But uh, I, I kind of—it's a strange house in any case. But I can't—I can't help but feel that. I mean, it's like the Ioni Blackburn fight is kind of like a remixing, reconfiguration of basic elements from several other fights before, which is the straight, you know goats slash bulls locking horns element of the Julia Kasugi fight where you just keep damaging each other until one of you, you know, until the, until the head of uh, Fukushima falls in between the two of you. And it mixes that with the spatial orienting of the fight against the two salary men. Because it's like, you know, you are running on that horizontal axis parallel to the axis that she's running on, except, you know, she's she has your kind of mobility too. Yeah. So it's like I know that you know that running, running uh, parallel, or or horizontal <laughs> with respect to, 
What the hell? Whoa. Um, I know that running uh, horizontal with respect to the salary men is like, you know, that's your evasion strategy. And as such, that's like a huge part of like how you play that fight. But it's like yeah. Ayani, I don't use that at all. And I kind of wonder if maybe there's like... If there's... No, because it, it really has no uh, function in the Ayani fight. Like, you can't really use it to dodge her gunfire or anything. Yeah, that's kind of my feeling on it, too. But, uh, I don't know. Also, because you have no cover, anyway. And with the salary men, you do. That's the main thing to do with the, you know, strafing movement, is go back and forth, you know, behind the, the walls. Yeah, and as well, the, uh, the projectiles, uh... They are slow enough during the salarymen fight. That uh, I call them salarymen, even though they're not salarymen. They're just Japanese men in suits, and that's all that matters, apparently. Uh, oh, there he is. What are we at to? We are at nine. So this one here is just for kicks. I kill for the love. But isn't ten the maximum, or is nine? Oh no, ten. You're right. Yeah. See, it was worth it. It was worth it. I did gain from that thing's death. <clears throat> it's funny, because like, this, this sort of like running around and having to compensate for failure is exactly the kind of thing I <laughs> hope to avoid by choosing a lesser than the kill rate difficulty. And here we are. <laughs> Well, on the bright side, I think it, it should. This should be the only occasion. Yeah, right? yeah. And then, I mean, I can't think of any other occasion on which it it would be the game is difficult. <laughs> right. No, you're right. It, as uh, I think DJ mentioned earlier, he uh, he the game uh, kind of goes out of its way to make itself as unimposing as possible. And if I can use masks, not masks, Kevin's non-waiver to get through the majority of the fight, then uh, I think that will be a that'll be a victory right there. How, how strong are his knives? Uh, if you level them up, they're pretty strong, and I think his power oh. is pretty high. I mean, for what I've uh, for what I've leveled up. Hold on. Uh, okay. Grimsweeper noted that Skype was going choppy. Yeah, y'all in the um, chat, if you could please let us know when the audio goes choppy, because we have no way of knowing that, then that'll be yeah. great. And and with so few people in there this time. I don't think of it as so few people. I think of it as so many less. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It's a... It's, it, Glass half. That's, that's seeing the glass is more empty. It's, yeah, it's sure. like, I, I think of it as glass is half unfull. <laughs> <laughs> I call it optimism. It, it warms the heart. Cannibal cooking tips. I think don't. Uh, I think the purpose of this fight is so you can access a panel on the wall that oh, that you can access a panel on the wall that will turn on the floodlights at the swimming pool. But if I'm remembering correctly, and I uh, uh, sneaking about notes, it's quality, not quantity. Yes. You can have a you can have a glass half unfull of good milk, or you can have a half glass half <laughs> unempty of bad. <laughs> I don't not understand what I am unsaying to you. Life lessons. <laughs> That's right. In the four seven commentary. <clears throat> Where is she? Oh God. <clears throat> There's hardly a better symbol for life lessons than a glass of milk, is there? <laughs> or a glass of beer. Okay. That too. I think I think really it should be a glass of Mayak. <laughs> which is a reference to Ernest Saves Christmas, but 
I'm so postmodern. But yeah, I think, it, and so it's funny, it's like the, I mean, outside of the mere fact that you have to clearly, of course, destroy every monster that Curtis Blackburn has uh, created outside of Dan, uh, there's kind of no per kind of no reason to fight her here. Uh, because it's like, as much damage as you take from her normal strategy, I mean, you could just run over, use Coyote, unlock the, uh, uh, I think you have to use Coyote to unlock the panel, then flip the switch, and then you're done. Let's call it a day. Ayani is, like, doing her boss run pattern and doesn't really understand why you left. <laughs> well, what? she is standing between you and and the panel, right? No, there's the panel right there. And you'll see that in about 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> see, you're pointing exactly at Ayami. Uh, oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, but it's it's so dark, you can't possibly see it. I can see it right now. No. Oh. oh I'm You're... sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that I couldn't. <laughs> You're breaking the game logic. That's on the level of, like, you know, penguins can't fly! Penguins can't fly! <laughs> and, of course, they've been flying and, you know, descending. Uh, the, the flying immediately stops. You're, you're really hitting her below the belt there. Whoa! Which seems like it would be very hard to do, given the anime schoolgirl outfit. Yeah. It, it se it's seeming like Kevin's knives stun her regardless of where you hit her. Yes, and that's one of the great things about using him here. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Now everything's fine. <laughs> it's kind of like... I don't know, in the war room and you hear like the person on the phone on a, on a closed conference call like get really, really upset. Oh uh, no, it's cool! It's cool! <laughs> No, the expl the exclamations are always fun because they're five seconds ahead. <laughs> so whenever we hear "ah" or "yes," we don't have any idea. Which I must say makes for several disappointments when nothing particularly spectacular happens. I think it sort of fits the uh, general sense of dissonance that Killer Seven tries to give off. <laughs> Yeah, this is a fight where steadiness of uh, your reticule really matters. I mean, I mean, yeah. obviously accuracy matters, but with the uh, well, like even like the heaven smiles, it's like the the weak points on the heaven smiles have this sort of like general, even in some ways non-intuitive range, uh, sort of like circumference within which damage uh, will accrue. Uh, sometimes even frustratingly so, because it seems like you are expected to hit that invisible. Uh, hit somewhere in that invisible circumference before uh, uh, before it will take damage, even when that means your reticules are not pointed at the uh, the yellow spot. But uh, so it's like accuracy is not always like a huge thing, which is kind of weird because it is billed as a rail shooter. Uh, yeah. But in this one, it matters so much because it's like otherwise you can't stun her, and like she is a fairly slight target. Yeah. I, th I think the plan should be to hit her with every character other than Dan until the last phase. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but then at the same time, if Dan screws up and I can't get out of it, and I really need <laughs> to... Well, yeah, true. If there's like a stride that I've got. No, I'm, I'm fine uh, missing on the poetic justice on this. If it means I get to never do it again. <laughs> All right, second phase time. Woo. Ooh. Oh, nice. Good, 
good shot. She really has uh, four phases, right? Uh, the she... first phase, and then this one, the second one, and the teleporting is a separate third phase, right? No, I think the teleporting is part of this phase, because I remember toward the end of my uh, time fighting her as Garcian, uh, she was doing some teleporting while she was doing the sprinting. Oh, okay. We just haven't seen her do it in this phase yet, because Kevin's doing so well. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep. That is a pretty nice skill to have learned from Curtis. Okay. Which one? The never dying one? Well, that, yes. <laughs> that, that primarily. Oh, no, right, because he did have that, uh, you kind of saw that first person in the cutscenes that uh, he uh, would sort of float through the building. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess that is very similar, isn't it? I guess we could attribute it to that. I always just kind of imagine that as a stylistic. Curtis's point of view through the long hallways. But it also kind of makes sense given that well, I like, has this, that skill. Yeah, I think that also, like, he would, like, start at one end of the hallway and then. And, uh. Yeah. And just sort of, like, just then show up. Yeah. Well, and, and he just kind of, like, very quickly glide through, mm -hmm. which is exactly what Ayame does. Sort of stand in place and quickly glide to another spot. It's hatefully so. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> I still think it's it's pretty incredible that the Seattle Self Defense Force, you know, consisting of people like Dan and Curtis, who then trains somebody like Ayame, also has Pedro as a member, who's just he's he seems a guy who likes playing squash, racquetball. Yeah, I was about to say, like, what what kind of communist version of racquetball are you playing up there in Canada? Yeah. At this point, it seems like it really becomes a matter of endurance by way of like trying to intercept yeah. her, uh, trying to intercept I'm, I'm her. Thinking, I'm thinking that maybe Kevin's not the best guy anymore. Uh, maybe. Like, maybe it's time to bring out Mask again? I don't know, man. I've got some pretty bad memories of that decision. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, actually, I think they refer to what just happened like a few minutes ago. Well, fair point. I I, I don't know. I, I was figuring he could then switch it, switch him back. Oh yeah, that's an idea. I mean, just because you pick someone doesn't mean you have to see them through all the way. The captain need not go down with the ship. The harmon need am, not. I am go never down. never getting on a boat with you. <laughs> Just so you know now. <laughs> Slightest sign of trouble. I'm out. Alright. Even if I'm at the wheel. Damn. What? 
Oh, for God's sake. You can also take damage when you're stunned, I forgot that. <laughs> Oh, the stream's farther behind now. Let me, let me oh, read. but the stream's Sorry. okay? Uh, yeah. No, I, it was just farther behind than it, it was at first. Okay. It, it lagged somewhere there, I guess. Because well, it was like a full...